Hey, what up, boys? So PvP has always been a controversial topic for Ashes of Creation. The last time the team even spoke about PvP was October 2022, and since then, they've barely ever mentioned it. However, the silence is no longer, as this month we're finally getting a look at some of the PvP systems. But before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to grab yourself a Copa Cola because the showcase this month is actually threefold. First, of course, the PvP itself. Second, it's PvP revolving around a caravan specifically. And third, we're also getting a glimpse at how some of the water raft mechanics actually work. And today, I'm excited to set your expectations for this month's highly anticipated PvP livestream showcase. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so when you clicked on this video, you were probably expecting an actual live stream breakdown, but unfortunately, the stream was delayed this month. Hopefully that means the wait until the next stream is slightly easier, as it's actually been about six weeks since the last update, but at this point, I'm fully expecting Intrepid to be in heads down mode, getting the game ready for the Alpha 2 launch, so some more delays are likely expected. Anyway, as mentioned at the start, this month's live stream is focused around PvP involving a caravan, and this has some pretty interesting implications because of the exact wording they used. When we talk about the PvP element of them and that risk, I am happy to announce that in January, we will be showcasing a large PvP battle around caravans, and you guys will get to see a little bit of the caravan uh, raft uh, take place as well. We should be in a good spot for that uh, come January. Larger scale type PvP is pretty damn exciting, as that implies them showing off some systems involving nodes once again, Ashes of Creation's core world building mechanic. You see, last time they showed off the caravan mechanics back in November 2023, it was involving a more player driven one, showing off how a solo player or a small group could work together to make a bit of cash. However, one major aspect about these caravans is that they are indeed open for the risk versus reward gameplay loop. That means PvP is all but expected. But as implied by the team, uh, we're seeing this at a much larger scale, and a, a basic caravan doesn't really fit this situation. So what could they be showing this month? Well, there are two possibilities here. First, we could see one of the mayoral caravans, which are more node-focused, set up by the mayors of the nodes, and likely involve everyone who is a citizen, as the success actually benefits a larger amount of players, fitting that larger scale that they're implying. However, the second one could also be a convoy of caravans owned by a guild looking to make some bank. And this particular possibility is backed up by a comment from Steven back in November saying they already have a convoy of caravans planned with some group PvP. But it doesn't stop here. Along with the caravan showcase, we're also likely getting a glimpse at one of the more exciting parts of the game for me. Uh, we were intending to show this update with this update the transition from land to river with the raft system caravans when they intersect with a river they go into a construction stage why don't you talk to me a little bit about that uh hal and chris there's like two kind of methods to crossing rivers right one of them is with bridges but the other method is via a transformation into a raft it'll make you a little bit of a sitting duck while you're transitioning but once you're in the water you'll get kind of a nice speed boost from the currents um and it's a alternate means to getting stuck on the choke points that are bridges. That will be an update coming shortly. Was, uh, we were having some bugs. We should be in a good spot for that uh, come January. The land to water transition itself is of course super fun, but the main part of this that excites me is how these raft type vehicles actually move and interact with the water itself. Black Desert Online and Arcage are really the only two MMOs that have fleshed out boat mechanics, and both games have their pros and cons for that pirate fantasy. BDO looks fantastic with the rolling waves and the lightning storms, and the 
the way the boat looks when it moves on the water's surface, but the boats in BDO are not actually real entities. Uh, they're just a means of moving on the ocean, and colliding two boats together in BDO results in some extremely glitchy interactions. Not ideal. However, on the flip side, although Arcage has a much better physics-based system with real collision, real water mechanics, real PvP, and all that great stuff, the actual aesthetics side of things are quite lackluster, and that ruins the whole ocean fantasy in its own way. If Ashes of Creation can really create that aesthetically pleasing, physics-based gameplay from a game like Sea of Thieves, I think that alone will be a huge winner for the game. But I digress, I'm getting far too excited about this, because technically this month, we're only seeing the first glimpses of it, and the fully fleshed out ship and ocean mechanics will arrive post Alpha 2 launch. Now, before concluding, I want to quickly pad out the video for about 40 seconds so I can meet ad revenue requirements, so I want to briefly mention the mage. Spell effects have been highly critiqued over the years, and although the ranger was a great step forward for this, the mage in particular gets a lot of flack. But they did also announce this month that we're going to see an update to the mage and their spell effects. And you guys are going to be seeing some changes that are done to the mage effects as well, yeah? Uh, Scott and Siva, I believe, are both working on the mage next, so... That'll be very exciting to see that get another pass, because, man, the mage can really throw down the particle effects. I think overall, the most important part of this month's stream that I'm looking forward to seeing isn't the PvP, it isn't the balance of things, it isn't the systems involving the caravans itself. I think seeing the strides the team have made towards the networking side of this massively multiplayer online role-playing game is going to be the most important part. Back in Alpha 1, the team showed some extreme talent and promise when it came to large-scale PvP, and I praise them to high heavens for that, because we've not seen the likes of this from an MMO for over a decade. However, as of late, the networking side of Ashes of Creation's gameplay seems like they've completely lost all the work they made during Alpha 1. Mobs are teleporting around, players are desyncing out the wazoo, it's really not a great sign for this game that's supposed to be boasting 250 versus 250 siege battles. Obviously, all of this could just be optimization and pre-alpha related stuff, but you can't deny that all the impressive feats that they showed for Alpha 1 are completely gone, and the game's taken a huge step back since then in preparation for its much larger Alpha 2 scope. With Throne and Liberty now showing similar promise, uh, I can no longer praise Ashes of Creation for this, but hopefully this month is the month where we get to see some incredible large-scale PvP that completely blows our socks off. Or, you know, it'll be desynced 5v5 PvP and everyone will realise that this game is a giant scam. But as usual, I am just one nerd, desperate for a good MMO. And hey, you there, sitting on your fat man chair with Cheetos hanging off your beard, sit up with you, I'm talking to you. We're currently playing Enshrouded over at twitch.tv forward slash Narcoverse if you want to come and watch whilst waiting for a game that quite literally doesn't exist. So, subscribe to the channel before you leave, smash that like button or whatever the kids say these days, and I'll see you in the next one because you're high on copium.